<laughs> Since even the devs couldn't get their names right. You ever heard of Pinky and Clyde? No, he has No one's heard of our friends Pinky and Clyde. Who's that piloting Blinky's frog? It, it, it's Clyde. Clyde is piloting Blinky's frog. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is Blinky actually Clyde? Is Clyde Blinky? Am I Blinky? Is Link dead in Majora's Mask? The answer to that is yes, yes, I hope not, and no. Link is in the Twilight Realm ten years after it and the Dark Interlopers are sealed away. He kills the sentient power of the Majora's Mask and escapes to Hyrule only to succumb to the power of the Fierce Deity Mask to appear in Twilight Princess. Thankfully, I wasn't the only one to have been confused by the names of the Pac-Man ghosts, and neither were the devs of Pac-Man World 2. I don't think that I can undersell how unprecedented it is for a mistake of this magnitude to go unnoticed by Namco. Imagine if Peach or Daisy's names were swapped in Mario Tennis Aces, or if Tingle and Knuckle were exchanged. The weirdest part is how long this mistake went unnoticed. Pac-Man World 2 and 3 weren't the only games to have made this error. It has been made off and on since 1982. Pac-Man took arcades by storm in 1980, and Namco was eager to capitalize on their new player base of 30 million strong by launching a Pac-Man cartoon in 1982. This cartoon was the first symptom of the growing confusion between the two ghosts. Their names were correct, but their personalities weren't. Clyde was written to be the leader amongst the four, most likely because he is the only ghost with a different naming convention. Blinky was the cowardly one. This mistake wouldn't be featured in-game until Namco Classic Collection Volume 2, released in 1996. This arcade collection included the original game and Pac-Man arrangement, and the name change was present in both. Now embedded within the series lore and... canon? I... I guess it showed up in official material, so it's technically canon. The name change now haunted the franchise, showing up in every Pac-Man game until Pac-Man World Rally. The last game to feature the mistake was none other than Pac-Man World 3. However, it wasn't the last officially licensed product to contain the mistake. In Wreck-It Ralph, there is a scene where he goes to Bad Guy Anonymous, which is led by one of the original baddies in gaming, Clyde. While none of the characters refer to him by name, the closed captions refer to him as Blinky. I could find no official statement clarifying whether this was an intentional change or an accident that snowballed into a major identity crisis. I don't think it matters either way though. Considering how often I got mixed up at the beginning of this series, it's clear that the ambiguity has caused long-lasting confusion that only time and consistency will alleviate.